Hello guys, welcome to another Kara SAT tutoring video. My name is Dr. Sigmisha and I will be your tutor today. I am a tutor from Kara SAT tutoring, the only tutor in the world that provides high quality and free SAT tutoring to low income students around the world. So if you're a low income student and you're not checked out with us, you are missing out. I don't know what you're doing. Go in the link down below. I know you're going to do it, so you're going to go in the link down below click on the link and go to the guidelines and you're gonna check it out and you're gonna apply and you're gonna get a free SAT tutor who's gonna tutor you with your needs and your time in mind so today's topic of discussion is hard SAT questions and so there's this college word app this is the question of the day app and I picked out I think this is one of the one uh, of the one of the one of the toughest questions um, this is called the official college board has designated this as hard so let's solve it um, I'm gonna give you all the tips and strategies that are required to solve a question like this so without further ado let's get it so the first step in answering any hard question is to first read the question you won't believe how many times people uh, skip the question in the middle of the sentence and they miss the other half which is completely important you know they might miss some specific detail so what we're going to do is we're going to go it line by line highlighting words or trying to understand words that we don't understand so the mean so this word is very important right here the mean this is another word for average the average height of the students in Juan's math class is 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 the mathematical is the word equivalent to the equal sign so we're just gonna put there um, is equal so this right here is equal to the mean height of the students in his English class so whatever the mean height is in his math class the English class has the same average height so if this is 6.7 inches for some reason that's gonna be 6.7 inches as well now it says however now however is an important word because it marks a contrast so we gotta be careful however while the standard deviation of the height in this math class is 3.2 inches so standard deviation uh, if you don't know what that means uh, it's basically it's basically this concept of how if this is the mean how far are you away from the mean right so if you have a greater standard deviation this generally means that your data is more varied that means your point that your data points your data sets are, are further distances away to the left and to the right of your mean value and a lesser standard deviation means the opposite that your data is more clumped together the standard deviation is 3.2 again okay, the standard deviation of the height in this English class is 6.1 inches so 6.1 so we could clearly see that the height of the the height of the students in math class is going to be more clumped around so if it's for example let's say I don't know let's say it's 5 in math and 5 in English in the math class you'll have like um, something like 8.2 so this is very close but in the other one you'll have like 11.1 6.1 to each side and so on and so forth and basically even though the average is 5 of both data sets the data sets them the data points themselves are far away from the average okay. so if you don't take anything away from this video just take this one that standard deviation is just how far you are from the mean the greater you are from the mean, the more varied your data is. And that's going to be important when we get to the questions. So now I just ask which of the saying must be true. So must is always, not in a specific condition, but always. So let's, just, let's start reading the questions one by one. The mean height of the students in is, is 2.9 inches greater than the mean height of the students in this math class. Now we can confidently mark this question wrong and the reason for that is let's see how well how did they get the number 2.9 well it's pretty obvious 
that it's 6.1 minus 3.2. But the standard deviation does not affect the mean. It just tells you how far things are from the mean, but it does not actually change the value of the mean. So just because you have different standard deviations does not mean that your mean, that's a little pun there, does not mean that your means changes. So this is wrong because, and and I'm going to assume that this one is wrong as well because it's 2.9 inches, but we'll get to that later. But um, so the first one is wrong because even though your standard deviations are different, that does not change the mean height. The mean height, we said in the first sentence, it's equal to the English class. So this is wrong. The median height is 2.9 inches. Well, we can mark this wrong because A, we don't have enough information. Standard deviation only deals with mean and how far you are away from that mean. But it does not actually deal with the median, which is the middle point of the data set. So different things right there. And because, and also we don't have enough data to calculate the median. So we can kind of please uh, mark that one out. Finally, uh, the last two answer choices, C, the median height is 2.9 inches greater. So again, this is the exact same, which leaves us with only one answer choice, D, the height in math class are less variable than the height in his English class. And this makes sense because again, standard deviation is, if this is your mean, let's say um, your mean is this one single point, standard deviation is how far you away from that mean. So for example, if you have data sets like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, so whatever the mean is here, actually let's calculate 2 plus 3, 3 plus 6, 6, 6 plus 4, 10, 10 plus 5, so the mean of this, 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10, 15, 15, so the mean of this is 3. And you can see that things are not too far away. They're one away from here. But you can have the same thing sort of like this. Uh, I have to think of another number. I have to think of another sequence that has three in the, um, what about this? Negative one. Uh, okay. Let's try to think of another sequence that has three as its mean, but the data sets are much more farther apart. This, um, I'll probably have to use a lot of negative numbers for this, but, sh but I think you'll get the point, let's see. Uh, negative, okay, we're gonna have three here. Let's do two minus eight, negative three. Okay, so the mean of this is still gonna be is still going to be three it's still going to be three but the data sets are much more farther set apart they're six apart instead of one apart so this is what that means how far apart how far apart is your data from the mean so 15 is two times six away from the mean and same for negative nine but mainly understand that this one has a greater standard deviation because your data sets, your numbers, 15 is much more farther away from 3 than 5 is from 3. So therefore, that makes D our right answer, and that is the correct answer. I hope you like this video, short, quick video for career SAT tutoring. If you're a low-income student, go down to the link below and get yourself a free SAT tutor. Our SAT tutors have an average score of 1,500, so you'll be guaranteed that you're going to get the best SAT tutoring available. Until next time, folks.